Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this weekly planner in Word. So the first thing I'm going to do is extend my margins. So if I go to Layout, Margins, click on the drop down, and you'll see here we've got Normal, which is the normal margins, and the next one down is Narrow. And the reason I'm going to go to Narrow is just to give us that little bit of extra space. So click on Narrow, and my cursor is now further over to the left. And I'm going to go to Insert, Table, click on the drop down, go down to insert table and then in number of columns I'm going to have eight columns days of the week and then the times and then number of rows I'm going to have 20 and then click OK. Once my table has been inserted my cursor is at the top left here I'm going to press the return key I'm just going to move that down a little bit so I can fit in my title at the top then I'm going to select the table by clicking on this top left square I'm going to go to table layout and I'm going to increase the height of my rows to 1.2 centimeters and press enter. And then I'm going to make sure that everything is aligned to the center. And then I'm just going to move my cursor up one more just to get rid of that second page. Let's take that out, there we go. If you find that things aren't moving quite the way you want to, if you go to the home tab up here and then you go along to this icon here, you can see where all your return keys are. So you can get rid of them and then you can move them down or move the table down. You can see where there is those return keys are. So you can see why you may have made a second page. There we go. And I'll just switch that off. Perfect. So let's now insert all my days of the week. And all you do is literally just type as you would do normally. Let's just change that to capitals. And then down the edge here, I'm going to start from five o'clock in the morning, but it's your choice. You can start from wherever you want to and then just put in the times of the day. Now, if you want to put AM and PM in, the quickest way to do it is just put your cursor after the five, press AM, and then literally just hit the arrow key and go down and it will put it next to the six and so on and so forth. Perfect. Once you finish that, I could put a title up here and put it into the middle, but it will generally knock this table down because the letters will be quite large, so I want quite a large title. So instead of doing that, I'm going to go to Insert, Text Box, click on the drop down and select Draw Text Box, click and draw out a text box. And then with my cursor inside, I'm just going to type out Weekly Planner. And then I'm going to go to the Home tab. I'm going to pop the text in the middle by using this icon Center Text. I'm going to change my font to Bellania. You can change it to what you want. I just haven't selected it, so let's go back up. Now, that doesn't look quite right, so what I'm going to do is change the font or the text to sentence case or capitalize each word, actually. There we go. And then I can increase the size of my text by using this icon here. That's about right. Now I've downloaded this font really easily. If you want to find out how to do that, there will be a link below. But you can use any font you like. Once you've customized your text, you'll see that this text box has got a black border and a white background. Now you can keep that if you want to. I don't, so I'm going to get rid of it. Select the text box, go to Shape Format, go to Shape Outline, click on the drop down and select No Outline. Then go to Shape Fill and select No Fill, and you can see now it's completely transparent. To ensure this is all perfectly centered, go to Shape Format, Align, click on the drop down and select Align to Center. Deselect, and let's just have a look at that. I'm just going to move this down just a little bit with my arrow keys. Perfect. Now you can make any kind of adjustments you need to. So if you want to put in a footer saying this is week one, double click down the bottom. Then you can just type in week zero one and then double click back into the main document. You can see I've made a second page here. So all I need to do is go over to the margins. If you can't see your rulers, go to view, make sure rulers are checked, click and then just pull that down. If that doesn't work, go to the top. You may be able to pull the top one up and move that second page. There we go. And let's just delete anything that's on that page. No, okay. If it's still not working, double click on the footers below, 
go back over to the rulers. You can see the rulers have changed now because I'm adjusting the margin of the footer. Pull that footer down, double click into the main document and that second page should disappear. And then I'm just gonna move this down with my arrow keys. So you can go ahead now and save this as a template. If you want to do that, go to file, save as template. Make sure you're in the templates file here and it's a Microsoft Word template. This will show up whenever you open Word in your templates. So you can use this over and over again and it will ask you to save it as a separate document so you won't lose the original. Just click save. I'm just gonna click cancel for now. Or of course you can save this as a PDF, go to file, save as, go down to the bottom here and save as PDF. Click on PDF and then you can just click export. So if you can't be bothered to make this yourself or have a go, then you can download this in the link below. I hope this has helped you. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.